Hey everybody, welcome to my review for Season 2, Episode 9 of Little Women Atlanta. Before I get started, I just want to say this video will be a spoiler if you haven't seen the episode yet, so you might want to watch this video later. If you want to see my previous review video for Little Women Atlanta, click on the link in the description. Okay? Alright, now let's get started. The name of this episode is Unhappy Birthday. And we're going to find out why it's titled that as I go through this review. Okay, so in the episode, they resume with what happened last episode. Remember with last time with money and uh, Hope and Charity starting to get into it on the boat. They were throwing water and stuff on each other. And, uh, and, and they were talking about the food stamps and stuff. And Money said that she withheld info about her work history to get food stamps for her son. And Juicy said the twins should be ashamed of themselves for acting like that. And remember during the fight, Moreland was trying to hold her back and stuff. Moreland tells her, tells uh, Money not to let them steal her joy. And I guess that's the end of the um, footage from the boat trip. Next, they show Juicy, Hope, and Charity going over to the nail shop, getting their nails done and whatnot. And then they talk about what happened on the boat. Juicy tells them that it seemed like they were attacking her and by asking her about the saying stuff about the food stamps and she doesn't want to um and money doesn't want to relive that and she said she was, and she said money was just trying to support his child support her child i'm sorry and then one of the twins said that she's hood, said that uh money was hood and juicy was like y'all are too <laughs> wow and then she uh she tells them to um behave next time they um hang with the girls and money and then she tells them about uh malik's birthday party you know remember malik um Bree's son yeah tells um them about malik's birthday party and they're invited and then the twins promise that they won't they that they will behave we'll see about that next money and Bree meet up with each other to chat and whatnot and i'm sorry hold up Money and Bree, yeah, I'm sorry. Money and Bree meet up with the, with each other to talk. And Bree said that she wants to plan Malik's third birthday party. And she tells Money that Hope and Charity will be there. <laughs> Why the heck would she even invite them? I, I'm sure I'm sure she didn't she didn't have a choice. I'm sure that the the um producers and whatnot wanted her to invite them just so some crap would get stirred up and make the show interesting. You know, yeah. And Money said that her her fiance Moreland said that he wasn't so proud of how she acted on the boat, and that she needs to work on her anger. Yeah, I agree. Then, after that, they show Amanda and Andrea. So Amanda goes over to Andrea's. Um, oh, I'm sorry, y'all. Amanda goes over to Andrea's apartment to talk to her and she says things haven't been going well between them and she said that she's been acting like a total b-word towards her and then Amanda cooks um her some food cooks some food for her pregnant sister and then she tells uh, her about hope and charity and then Andrea asks like are they pretty do they dress well <laughs> What kind of question is that? You don't even know them. You don't even know them. Why are you clicking, like, tr trying to judge them already? Why? That just revealed something about her character. She's probably judgy. Judging. Judgmental. I'm sorry. <laughs> Judgmental. And then, uh, and, and then Amanda says that they, that they dress ghetto, dress ghetto, and they don't have a good sense of fashion. I kind of think it's not nice to dress how people, um, not, I'm sorry, I kind of think, I personally think that it's not nice to judge how people dress because they dress that certain ways for a reason, has to do with self-confidence, has to do with modesty, you know, so they do that for a reason, just because they don't dress like you does not necessarily mean that they don't have a bad sense of fashion. We all have our opinions, but, you know, sometimes we just have to take our opinion and shove it somewhere that I do not want to discuss. 
Okay, I'm going on a tangent. Let's get back. Anyway. So, then after that, they sit down. And then Amanda asks if Andrea, asks Andrea if she still doesn't want her in the living room. Remember that? Remember last time or time before last when she found, when Amanda found out that uh, her sister didn't want her in the delivery room? And then Amanda was all like, like, I don't know. I'm not sure. And then she asks if Chris is ready for the birth and whatnot. And then after that, she was like, then after that, I forgot what they said after that. And, um... Amanda throws away the food she made for uh for um Andrea because she didn't want it, and then she leaves the apartment, and she says that uh, Andrea is giving Chris too many chances, and she doubts it if he will be there for the birth. Yeah. Then, after that, they show money. She's at some kind of donut place where they have all kinds of cool, unique flavors of donuts. They look good. Yum. They always getting the good food on this show. Yeah, she's picking out donuts and stuff. And then Moreland shows up to the restaurant and he sits by her. Sits they sit at a table together. And then Money's like, Oh, I brought you some ordered you some donuts and drinks and Moreland was like, Oh no, I ain't hungry, I ain't in the mood. And he said that he is still mad about how Money acted on the boat. And Money said Money said that Moreland knew about the food stamp stuff from day one, so he needs to deal with it. Moreland said that she needs to work on her temper, and Money said that she feels like Moreland is is turning his back on her. Moreland says that he is not. Moreland is starting to, she, when he was there, he was starting to sweat because he was so mad he's irritated about, uh, about her temper and how she acted. Then Money says that she doesn't want to move, lose Moreland, and she and she says she won't lose him. She also said that if Moreland's second guessing her, he's turning her back, turning his back on her. He said that they won't will not have a wedding until they get things right. Yep, they need to work some um. They need to work some little stuff out. They need to work some stuff out before they have that wedding, you know. Next, after that, Minnie gets a phone call and finds out that Andrea is having the baby a little bit early. So, Andrea's at the hospital, and Jordan drives uh, Amanda and uh, Minnie over to the hospital, and then they run inside. And sure enough, Chris isn't there. Ain't he something? Where is he? Where is he? What he? Let's just find out. Y'all gonna find out. Well, actually, they didn't really say where he was, but you guys are gonna find out what happens. Then she she talks to um a man. Andrea talks to Chris on the phone, and it sounds like he's not gonna make it. And then they show uh Jordan. And Minnie sitting in the waiting room. They talk, blah blah blah. Oh, she's about to have talking about oh how she's gonna have a how Andrea's gonna have a boy and a girl child. Blah 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 blah. And then Amanda shows up in the right waiting room, and they're like, "What are you like?" They're like, "Oh, what are you doing in here?" And um, she says that Chris did show up. Bruh. I was really expecting him not to show up. And, yeah, so, yeah, he showed up. And, and, yeah, and Amanda said that she felt like Andrea's decision made sense because Chris is the father and he should be in the, 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 the delivery room and be there for the birth of his second child. And then, minutes later, Amanda, uh, Amanda gets a message on the phone with a picture of Aubrey. Said that she was born five pounds and she was healthy. So yeah, it's great to know that the, um, Aubrey was born healthy, but she was still taken to the NICU because she was born a little early. So yeah, I think things are pretty, going pretty okay so far. Yeah. Then after that. The twins' parents and Andre, uh, Andrea's son, 
fly to Atlanta. Then they start talking. They show Andre the picture of his baby sister and whatnot. They ice. They break the ice. Blah blah blah. Uh, Chris and uh, Andrea. I guess Chris and Andrea weren't. Um, yeah. I'm sorry, y'all. I guess Chris and Andrea weren't there yet. So after that, yeah. So they break the ice a little bit, and then uh. The mom was like, the mom or the dad was like, oh, we need to see the baby's room. So they walk into the baby's room, and that room is empty. The only thing that's in there is the bouncy chair and a car seat box. <laughs> Yo, you guys had nine months to get that room together. Like, what's up with y'all? And the parents said that there should have been more in that room, and Chris should have prepared it. And the mom says that they need to get the get a crib and all kinds of other stuff. And this is the um this is the best line from this episode. <laughs> I, I I tweeted this line on Twitter. Um, if you if you want to see the tweet, I added a little g- a gift to it and whatnot. It's my pinned tweet on Twitter. Click on the link in the description if you want to see it. If it's still there. Yeah. Okay. This is. Let me let me let me come back. <laughs> I'm sorry. Now, this is my favorite one of my, these are some of my favorite lines from the episode. Y'all ready? (laughs) The dad said, this room should be painted. Amanda said, she was on, she's on bed rest. And then dad said, Chris isn't. (laughs) Oh my gosh. Oh. As funny as, as funny as that mess may sound. He is so right. Look at this. Here's the gif. Hold up. I'm sorry. Here it is. <laughs> it's backwards. Dad, this room should be painted. Amanda, she's on bed rest. Dad, for Chris isn't. Ooh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> ah. I'm a fool. Okay, I'm sorry about that little tangent. I usually don't go on a tangent, but yeah. Now, back to the review. Next, uh, Money and Juicy meet up with Jake, some kind of uh, famous chef or whatnot, because, you know, Juicy's in the showbiz business. She gets to meet all kinds of cool people, and they get to take a private cooking class with him. And then the um Jake tells them to start chopping up veggies. And then while they're chopping up veggies, Money tells Juicy that Andrea had the baby. And what and she's like, Oh, that's wonderful, blah blah blah. And then Juicy apologizes to Money about the twins and she said that she wanted to make it up to her. I guess she made it up to her by taking her out to, um for um cooking class. And then Money says that she can't t- trust ch- Hope and Charity. And she felt like that they came at her. Yeah. Then. Excuse me. Amanda and her mom, Janny. I think Janie, Janny, I don't know how to say her name. Go baby shopping for uh, Aubrey. And then while they're there. Amanda Amanda said that she usually doesn't tell uh, her mother about the drama between her sister and Chris and her, but she just has to tell her mom this. She tells her mother about the, um what happened that other day when Chris wouldn't let her in to talk to uh her sister and whatnot. Talked about how they got into a heated argument, and then the mom says that's not really like Andrea, and she's probably just stressed. And then she tells Amanda to stand by stand by her sister no matter what. Even though Chris might not know family. Then Amanda asks if uh, Andre. Amanda asks if her nephew Andre can move to Atlanta with Andrea. The mom says that the doctors are doing really well with Andre at the moment. And she wouldn't dare risk anything with his health. And she doesn't want, um, she doesn't want to tear their um tear their bond apart. I'm assuming the grandson, granddaughter, grandson, grandmother bond apart. Yeah. And then 
Amanda says that the reason why her and her sister moved to Atlanta was for uh, independence. Hold up, girl. I, I know darn well you guys moved there for the show. And didn't you guys also say, like, in the first season that you guys moved to Atlanta for, to, um, for, um, Andre, so that her, your, your, um, you guys can make money for him? Oh, I don't know. Yeah. Didn't you guys say that last time? I'm sorry. I'm, I'm drawing blanks again. Yeah. yeah. And I really think that Andrea shouldn't have moved out in the first place. All leaving her son back back in Texas. Basically having your mom and dad raising him. I'll be darned if I, if, if, let's say hypothetically speaking, this will not happen. Hi, hypothetically speaking, if I had a daughter and she left me with her grandkids just to raise while she going somewhere, going, moving out the city, just twerking for a job. No, I'll, no, I'm like, no, nah, girl, you got to stay here with your son or you got or you got to. um, Yeah, if you have no option, if you can't move your son out. Sorry, I guess you got to stay with your son, too. I don't know what to tell you. If your son. Has to stay by his doctors. You need to stay by your son so he can stay by his doctors too. So, yeah. That's not okay. You're supposed to be raising your child, not just leaving with the grandparents. You shouldn't have moved to Atlanta in the first place. Yeah. And then after that, Chris and Andrea come home without the baby. The baby's still at the hospital. And then Andrea says that they're, um... I'm prepared because they don't really have stuff in the baby's room. And she said she needs stuff, that they need stuff for the baby. And, I'm sorry, Amanda says they need stuff for the baby and stuff. And and this guy, Chris, he's all saying, what do you mean? She doesn't need a bed. She's not even one month old yet. <laughs> get that from where on earth did he think that <laughs> well, well why in the heck would he think that the baby doesn't need a bed just because he's not one month old yet that baby needs a bed the heck where the heck he get that from does he smoke or something because he probably done kill some brain cells <laughs> i made him say that <laughs> oh he killed some brain cells made him think that the baby doesn't need a bed Ain't he something? <laughs> and then after that, uh, Andrea says that her parents are coming, and she already knows that she already knows that he doesn't want to be there with the parents because they might have some be negative stuff to say to him. And then he's all asking like, "Oh, do you want me to get some food? You need some food and stuff like that." Yeah, he wants to like get out the house while the parents before the parents come, you know. And now, it's time for me to talk about the main event of the episode. It is the day of Malik's third birthday party, so they go over to the little party place and whatnot. And then, uh, yeah, the girls show up. Uh, Amanda, her boyfriend, and Andre show up and stuff. And then they, they, it's like a little bouncy house. They have bouncy jumper slide, jumpers and stuff, indoor stuff. It looked like fun. They were jumping on the jumpers together. They're just having a good time and stuff. And then Bree's like, okay, guys, come on. It's time for cake and food. They sing happy birthday. And then he blows out his candle. He's all having fun. And then all of a sudden, Juicy walks in with, guess who? Charity and hope. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. You know, remember that commercial? Here we go. On the road. Yeah. And then, when Min Min, they show Minnie saying, Minnie asks, why did the twins have to come? Couldn't Bree find a clown? <laughs> Yeah, oh my. Couldn't, yeah, couldn't, couldn't she just find a clown instead of inviting them? And then the twins, well, I, hold up, before I get started on that, uh, 
What are the twins' last name? Are they drumming? Drum, drum, drum. What's their last name? Drumming, drummer, drama. You guys see what I did there? Drama, you know, they like to start drama. <sighs> then the twins show up without their kids. Hold up, they got kids? Wow, acting like that, acting a fool on national television. They got kids? Hope they kids learn not to act like th act a fool like them. Hopefully they learn it from somebody else, not to act a fool like that. So they didn't bring the kids. They said that they didn't bring the kids just in case if something popped off. Oh, messy selves. Yeah, they messy. And then uh, then uh, Jordan and the uh the kids uh the the boys the little boys. That leave the room and whatnot. And then Hope asks Bree what's to drink. And Bree was like, apple juice. And then they show Bree in the commentary share saying, This is a kid's birthday party. What she expect? A whole open bar? And then uh Hope said Hope says that uh I'm sorry y'all, I read the wrong part. And then the twin okay. Hope and Charity are chatting with each other, blah, 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 blah. One of them said, I could have just stayed home, blah, blah, blah. And then they start talking to, uh, to, men, to money. And then Hope says that she didn't know money would go off like that on the boat. And then money asks, why are they there? Why are they there at the party? And then they start chatting with more. And they said that they want money to apologize even though they came at her and many said that money many said that she could tell that money was getting mad she starts clicking her nails she starts rubbing her hands together and then the twins do end up apologizing and charity says that money owes her sister an apology and hope says that and then I don't know how it got to this, but Hope said F her apology and everything else. And then they start standing up and they start throwing food and trash at, at each other. Then 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 they start food throwing food and trash at each other. And then Amanda said, These girls need to relax. This is a three year old's party. Who's the three year old? And then they start walking out. Then money gets up and put, puts her hand on one of the twins and trying to push them out the door and stuff. And then the twin ends, the twins end up leaving. <sighs> wow. Fighting at a kid's birthday party. Come on now. That's just that's that's ghetto. That's not okay. I just know the uh hope and charity went there to stir up some, some crap. I just know. Then yeah, after that, they um left the, the place and whatnot. Then Money said that re retaliation is just what she does. And then Juicy tells Bree, Bree, I'm so sorry about the twins. Oh my gosh, I am so sorry. That was me, by the way. <laughs> yeah. And then... Bree said that I'm sorry. Bree said that that every time she starts she um Bri, I'm sorry. Bree said that that's why she invites people who are there to exclusively see Meek and see him for his birthday party and she said that it's her son's birthday and not UFC and she said that she doesn't care about what the rest of the group does. And she's about to go and enjoy her son's birthday without them. And she told them they should have left the, left the drama home for his party. And she gets ready to leave the place. And that's all that happened. Poor Bree. Just trying to have a nice birthday party for her son. And them, them rat ratchet, little ratchet, messy twins just had to mess it up. I really, I, I am pretty sure that... The um, 
have in the invitation of the um of hope and charity were was staged just for the show to make it interesting so it wouldn't be boring for anybody. Hey, boring. You're boring everybody. Quit boring everyone. Yeah. Everybody will be getting all bored. It feels just a regular birthday party without any drama. So, yeah, that's all. Now, next time on Little Women Atlanta. Hope and Charity are back for another episode. They take the girls out to dinner and they do psychic readings. That should be interesting. Andrea said. Andrea says that Chris left. Again, Thank you. isn't he something? While the baby's still in the hospital, Minnie gets front confronted about her miscarriage again. Juicy launches her own sex advice talk show, and the birthday party situation is discussed. So yeah, that's all. All right, that's pretty much almost everything I have to say. I'm sorry this video was so long. They just get longer and longer every time. Okay. Thank you for watching. Thumbs up if you like this video. Don't Please don't forget to thumbs up. Follow me on Twitter at ILU More Than This. You know, you guys should already know I tweet during and after the show. Um, yeah, I have some good tweets. A few good tweets up there from, um, from last night's show. Turn on my notifications if you want to know when I post videos. Check out my other videos, even though they're not all review videos. This is a new thing, obviously. Yeah. Oh, and I have an announcement. I have an announcement. Uh, since the 20th season of South Park is uh is uh about to begin next Wednesday, I am so excited, y'all. Yeah, that is like my favorite show. One of my that's my number one favorite show besides Little Women Atlanta. Um. Yeah, since uh, the 20th season of South Park is premiering next Wednesday, I might, don't get too excited, but I just might do episode reviews of those episodes. So, yeah, keep an eye out for that, South Park fans. Yeah, I'm looking forward to that the, um, season premiere coming. I've been waiting since December. Why they gotta just have 10 episodes at the end of every year? Like, why can't they have... I'll talk about that in the um review other review video. Okay. That's all I have to say. Bye.